So CRP1 will be conducted in implementation project as a first training. We will call conference room pilot. The objective of the conference room pilot. Oh, we require to provide application training to the users like key users, business users, approvers. Whatever setups you have configured for CRP1, you need to explain setup wise functionality. Example, we configured COE, we configured instance, we configured ledger, we configured suppliers. This functionality we will show in the CRP1. That is main part. But we can't show how to do setups for key setups. We don't we can't show or we don't show how to do setups. Like a chart of account structure, we will open and show. Instance we will open and show. Ledger we will open and show. Training time we don't create new chart of accounts. We don't create new legal entity. We don't create new ledger. We will show we already created ledger, legal entity, business unit, key setup as per requirement. We need to show the only pages. Right. Let me go for theory. Okay. Scenarios wise, you can explain. GL journal creation. How to create journals. How to post journals. Then how to perform revaluation at a month end. Okay. AP create suppliers like master data. Okay, create invoices, create payments, AR customer creation, invoice creation, receipt creation. We don't Create in front of the client receivable system options. We don't create auto accounting. We already created sequence sequence process for module wise. We will explain. FA how to capitalize how to capitalize the assets. mass additions, then adjust assets. We will show these functionalities. We already prepared prepared documents as is a document means a legacy process, solution document, questionnaire. Whatever you are preparing training section, it should be matched solution. Suppose you given 10 scenarios training. The 10 scenarios you already included as a solution in your to be document or solution document. RD30. So 
client users will take print out physically they will take physical print out when when you are providing the training they will be marked okay like uh, you covered invoice creation payment creation recurring invoice creation they will be note down covered or not if they don't do that uh, like mapping or we can say re-verification again you have to ask them you can check the solution document and you can mark it as if it is completed right every day crp1 complete crp1 will conduct minimum three days to five days so every day once completed your functionalities we will request the user to confirm their presence information their understandable level so that will help us whether they are getting the like a uh, good subject whether they are able to understand or not because they will compare with the legacy so your training your functionality should be better than legacy scenarios legacy functionalities legacy erps legacy ERP. Yeah. so clear so i hope you understand objective of the crp1 crp1 will be driven by mainly on site consultant it's like a training section application training if on site consultant will not available in such cases offshore consultant will drive the section but as a functional consultant we need to prepare crp1 we need to prepare the crp1 ppt what are the areas you are going to cover you have to keep logos client logos what are the areas you are going to cover setup wise okay functionality wise as per solution document what are the business processes you are covering like invoice creation with the po grn non po based invoice debit memo credit memo prepayment recurring invoice we have to mention if you get the three days or five days time you need to be adjust how many scenarios i will cover every day once completed all scenarios you can explain the reports reconciliation period and process and one more important point while explaining the crp1 they will ask the many open questions each setup wise or functionality wise we have to note down properly we have to analyze and provide a solution for next training time crp to time. team can you share the link and instance link okay good r27 let me show the functionality if you are on site consultant you will drive the section right okay 
example you just explain value set functionality so let us take j2 global right when you explaining the value set usage value set uh, importance they may raise the question can i increase the length of the value set size can i decrease the value set size you don't require to modify in front of them some key setup it will impact more and other uh, applications also just note down as excel tracker crp1 open questions who raised like uh, can we increase the value set size after a go live when we required just note down who who requested rob robert then once completed the crp one you can analyze that open requirements open doubts provide the solution in next training crp2 if you do if you modify in front of the them you can explain them there is no issue but sometimes that setup is depend with other module like ap ar when you change this one training time they may face some unexpected uh, or uh, some impact that is the reason key setups we should not modify when user created uh, when user raise the open question let me go for here explain you are you are explaining how to create uh, general entry let me open right right i log in with the another user right gl module you are providing training go to general accounting go to journal create journal you have to explain how to create journal how to post the journal yes here oracle providing okay like uh, fields now once you explain the journal creation example now users may request can you make it a general batch as a mandatory field description as a mandatory field general name as a mandatory field description as a mandatory field category should default based on my user yes you can note down all important questions here can you make it general batch name as mandatory field like with the star mark we have to note down all open doubts requirements new requirement naming changes for setups you can note down whatever like uh, scenarios you are receiving you should not uh, deny you should not say no 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 just note down analyze so we have to be drive this way crp1 section then every day they will provide feedback we have to improve process wise we need to take the sign up what are the areas you covered what are the areas mentioned in the solution document should be matched so once completed crp1 whoever participants here as i mentioned they have to give the sign off okay they should provide sign off sign off document by mail 
or print out. If you are on site, you can take print out. They will give you the sign. Yes, these are all areas covered, functionality covered. We understand they will give the signature for the next level movement. Thank you.